All right, these are dusty. That doesn't mean they don't come out sometimes. You know why I'm pulling my combo skis out? It's because my man, Charlie Ross, Team Nautique rider, skier, is here. Yeah, I'm bringing out some combo skis. We know it. When that comes up, it's time to water ski. Dun, dun, dun. We want to head out on the water. You actually said you photo shoot on this boat. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we spent a couple days on this boat. It's really, really, it's a great boat. Cool. And so what we want to do is, is uh, show you guys that you can ski behind this. To what level? Well, let's go find out. So I asked what rope lengths. Uh, like when I wakeboard, I'm gonna ride like 75 feet or sometimes all the way into 55 feet and slow down. But water skiing, uh, Charlie, what do you want? You want to start at? We'll start at 28. We'll see how it goes. So 28 is 28 off of 75. And so you do the math and it's that long. <laughs> What we're gonna do is try to find the rope, the right rope length to cut through the wakes at an optimum speed and length. Charlie, how old are you? I'm 18. You've slalom skied competitively for how long? My first professional tournament was when I was 15. Okay, and your family is like a bunch of professional skiers. Drew yeah. Ross, Neely, like. Yeah, and my uncle, both uncles uh, competed professionally as well. I mean, he's got, he got it in his blood. What division you, do you compete in? Under 21 and open. Okay, <laughs> and you have some records? Yeah, I'm the under 21 and under 17 world record holder in the phone. No big deal, let's go. You're like, I don't really want to cut through the wakes. That was harder than I thought you would ever get to. You did, absolutely. Like your ski is out of the water, but you're holding that position. That's that's impressive. And that's at 34. That's flying. To me, to me, that's really fast. What do you you but you compete up at 36? Yeah. yeah, so they normally compete at 36 miles an hour. And we're going 34. 32 off. Charlie Ross. I'm just looking at where you are and right in front of you, it looks like it might be one consistent level across by either going shorter or faster. 36 mile an hour, we're gonna speed up. Yeah, that last time, 36 actually felt a lot better. I, I saw you take it out a little bit wider at 36. I get a little bit more on it. Yeah. But where you, where you even started was, was really impressive. Now, obviously his level is world's best, um, but just to, the fact that you can see that it's doable, like that's what we wanted to see. That was awesome. That was really good. While I'm getting ready to go combo skiing, Charlie, takeaways on the GS22. What'd you think? How'd she ski? We tested a couple things with the ski mode and then the wake, we got it really flattened out and I was able to carve back and forth really good. It was really fun. Yeah. So we had a good time. Great, great all around, all around boat. Obviously like you, you cut way harder through the wake than definitely I did. And you were in control, but you just show like this boat can, can really be done. What do you think you could run behind this? I think give me, give me two or three sets behind it. I think I can maybe run 38. No 30, way. 30, 38 or 39. Yeah, I think really? it's doable. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that might be that might be an edit. That would be crazy if you ran 28 on this. No, it def you could definitely run 28 or 28. Yeah. All right. It's getting windy, but that doesn't matter when you go on combo skiing. But you know what? I want to get air. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some fun. This, in the recommended owner's manual, says if you want to get it, it doesn't. If you want to get air when you're combo skiing, just tie high. 
I'm gonna go 50 feet. Let's start at like, well, let's start at 36 because that's what the speed is set at. There I just want to feel that just for a sec. <laughs> and then drop it down to probably about like low 20s. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite boat right now in the Nautique lineup. Of course, there's tons of great boats, anything from the Ski Nautique all the way up to the Paragon. There's something for everyone, but for the family who likes to do it all, first time pulling a barefooter, good job. Thank you. You said you haven't combo skied since you were like six? Yeah, it's been forever. I want to, we, we have a running joke at, our, at the ski school where there's two combo skis and it's like, all right, we're going to break them out again. And we're going to see who can run the course, but we never do. But it's been, been a while. Like I used to live in St. Louis when I was younger and I would come down here to Florida during the wintertime to get out of the cold. There's a lot of different places people can come to all over Florida, especially central Florida. Um, so you guys can search those. But if people want to connect with you guys, how do they do that? Yeah. So the Instagram is Winter Garden Water Ski. And yep. um, we're in the process of building a website right now, which I'm actually in charge of doing. And you got a lot of high end people training there and uh, some, some big names out there. So you guys can go connect with them. If you guys have any questions or comments about these boats, feel free, put them below. You can also go check out these boats at nautique.com. If you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that right now. And you can also hit that notification bell if you wanna know when videos are going live and maybe get that first comment. Always appreciate it when you guys like and share. And no matter what you're doing, whatever you're doing it behind, enjoy your ride. Peace.